want to say what's up to my partners. They are not paying me money, okay? This is just a partnership, wow. uh, funding booth. Uh, Truck Miser, Blue Parrot gives us a free headset that so we can give to y'all. 595 Truck Stop. Safe spot to park. I park my truck there sometimes, and they let me shoot videos there. So shout out to them. And St. Christopher Funds, man, those people are dope. All they do is if you donate 50 cents, a dollar, if a truck driver is having problems, they help them out. And, and those are people I rock with. So yeah. Because there's a lot of people on here that might watch this and say, dude, you know, I, I don't know how to stop this. You know, I, I love it too much because I've had friends myself where they say, hey, Alex, I would love to go truck it with you, but I just like smoking too much. And, you know, they yeah, might watch that's... this video and, and get inspired by you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not hungry enough, bro. At that point, that's just an excuse. You feel me? It's an excuse, bro. There's no way in the world that you really want to do something, but we to stop you from doing it. You are now watching the Asian My Show live. What's going on, other truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So we are live here. We're talking trucking. People saw this thumbnail. They're wondering what is going on with my man. Where were you before you were trucking a few years before that? Hey, man. Before, <laughs> I was on my couch watching videos like you, man. That's what I was doing. Hey. Um, I was on my couch smoking a blunt watching you, bro. <laughs> watching you. Tell me this. I mean, I mean, I had a lot of friends growing up that like to smoke, like to, you know, nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's legal it's everywhere. It. It you know, you like much. to drink, you like to smoke. But uh -huh. what made you want to stop and get into trucking? I know you were watching some videos, but what made you want to stop? All right, so I always wanted to, and when I really took it serious, um, I want to say like three years before I, you know, it, it was like a three-year mark. I want to say four years before I started like really changing my life. So what I did was I had some things on my license. I was a crazy driver, and I had things on my license. Of course, you can't get CDL till your license is cleared up. Mm -hmm. So within that time, as things was falling off my license, I slowly started breaking my habit. Um, I was like, I stop. I just stop. Eventually, I just stop. Is it that it's, easy to start, man, or stop? I mean, it don't sound like it is, though. It, it's, it's not really that. I think, I think, for me, I, I don't know for other people. For me, what happened was, I got real. I got the opportunity to go to school. Mm. Um, I was able to get, you know, the recruiter from the W the W O I A program. Yeah, hit yeah, me yeah, up yeah. Like, hey, you. You can start school soon once this opens up. I was like, word. So that put the battery in my back. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop my habit. And that time I was already kind of like weighing off of my habit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then I'm, I'm a grown man now. I'm 30 some years old. I'm like, all right, yeah, I've been, I've been doing this for a long time. And I felt like by the time I'm, I've sacrificed what I supposedly love so much, you know, things have to go the right direction for me. Yeah. So and that's what pretty much what happened. You know, as you know, we live in a, a, a age where this you could get around these things. But oh. that was not my that was a, that wasn't that my mindset. My mindset was like, yo, I'm gonna take this seriously, and I passed it legitly. Like, I stopped smoking. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I passed. I passed the the drug test for school. I passed the drug test for Swift, and they do hair follicles there. Um, how long's so the hair I, yeah. follicle thing for the people? Because I get that sometimes where people, and, and I don't judge nobody because all my best friends smoke. But, uh, but <laughs> it's real. It's real. It is what it is. But they I, always say, I, hey, my, uh, if they hair follicle test me, how how long until I'm good? Because, you know, a lot of people trying to get cleaned up so they could, you know, start their career. I think that um, it depends how heavy a smoker you are. Honestly, I, I, I think that's how it depends on. But I, I, I think it goes back like three, four months. To my to my understanding, I could be wrong. I don't want to, you no, know. I but think I think that's what it is. I think it's three to four months. You know, what would you say to them as someone that was a, you know, advocator for liking to, you know, smoke a blunt here and there? I mean, as in for trucking or just for life? For I mean, hey, you speak your truth. I, I think like if you want, if look, man, you gotta know what you try to do in your life, bro. If 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 weed or any kind of vice like that is gonna stop you or hinder you from getting your bag that's a choice you making is it worth it you know that's how mm. i look at it you know what i'm saying yeah, that's real it, after a while you know there's only a certain time i mean it ain't going nowhere put yourself in a situation where you don't have to worry about pitch testers and 
You understand what I'm saying? We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm-hmm. 